my video. And to have me make a video specially to answer your question, send me an email to EnglishClubUSA at yahoo.com and you can visit my website at EnglishClubUSA.com for a free life membership. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Many of you who stumbled onto this video stumbled onto this video by accident. Some of you watch most many of my videos and do video classes and do video homework. That way you will improve your English. But some of you stumbled onto this video by accident. And that accident is because many of you have to do an interview for your job. So the question is, in addition to your abilities, your professional abilities, and in addition to your English abilities, is there anything you can do to be completely successful on your interview. Well, those of you who think that all you need for your interview is your professional ability and English, I will say definitely not. Well, of course, those of you who speak English and Chinese, there, there is a huge demand for your services. So what kind of an interview you will have? It's difficult to fail. If you're a computer programmer and you program in, let's say, language Fortran, you'll probably get a job no matter what kind of interview you have. Because those programmers who program in Fortran are either dead at the time of this video or about to go on a very permanent vacation. So if you happen to have the skill of programming in Fortran, there's no question that what kind of interview you will have will make absolutely no difference. But if you are in a competitive field where your skill is very popular, but many people have your skill, English as a tool to communicate is very important and you speak the language and you think that that's enough, I promise you. It is not. So what do you need to do? What do you need to know about English that no English teacher had taught you until now? Well, English language is a tool. We all know that. But there's more to English language than meets the eye. Those of you who had a chance to watch my video on how to write an essay, those of you already know that I have a very special style. And there is a secret to that style. And the secret to that style is that English language is not just a translation of words from one language to the other. English language is not only syntax that you need to use inside the sentence. English is a culture. Language is a symptom. So, language is what had evolved as a result of certain lifestyle, of the way people do things. This is why when you do an interview, in addition to talking about technology or special skills that you have and others don't, in addition to English, there is something else that you can do in order to win the competition. So today, in this video, I would like to talk to you about or start talking about, and this will be the first video in a series of videos, how you can be successful on the interview. If you know the system and you know how to game the system, there is no question, you will be a winner. Well, to game a system, there is a secret, and you have to remember that the secret is hidden in a simple question that every single interviewer will want to answer. And that question is, do I, as an interviewer, want this person? And the answer at the end of the interview, not only at the end, but during the interview, with every word you say, the answer to that question will start changing between yes and no. So hopefully 
You want to get as many yeses as possible and as few no's as possible. So what is it that you need to always keep in mind as your goal during the interview so that the person who is interviewing you will answer this question. Do I want that person working for my company? What do you do? What do you have to think about always as you answer any question during the interview? So that every single time you open your mouth, the answer is yes. Well, the English culture is very simple. When you do an interview, there's no question that whatever you say has to be structured. The question is, what kind of structure do you need to have in your head in order to win the interview process and get on top of the competition? And if you use the system, I promise you, you will be more successful than anybody else who is not using the system. And the system is simple. All you have to remember are what are your qualities. And you say, but Valerio, every person has different qualities. I promise you that in addition to the qualities that every person has different, every person has three qualities that everybody is looking for. And those qualities are stability. We all look for stability in some way. Some people want more stability. Some people want less stability, but I'm sure stability is an important criterion for everybody. The second quality is everybody is looking for satisfaction. We all want to be satisfied with what we do. We want to be happy. And the third quality, we always think about our future. Every single one of us will think about how will this job affect where I live, with whom I will be friends, how much money I will make, and what will this job do for me when I have to leave? So that's why these three factors are very important for the interview. And the person who will be looking at you, listening to you, will be asking the same question. Do I want this person? Yes or no? And they will be listening to three qualities in every one of your answers. And those qualities are, are you stable as an employee? Are you, are you a happy person in general? Will you be satisfied with the work they have for you? And are you the person they want here? tomorrow. And if you go yes on every single one, you can't lose. So in this video, we're going to take a look and see one part of the interview. Because interviewers that will ask you questions will definitely want to see your projection. Because what happens is, as you studied a little psychology, you know that Sigmund Freud is talking about a defense mechanism. And those people who do interviews, they're very smart. They know how to ask questions and they will watch you and they will listen to you, how you project your qualities to somebody else. And in this case, your present employer, where you work. Because often we take our qualities and we assign them to somebody else. So we have to be very careful not to do that. What we can do by knowing this little secret, we can game the system. We can show to the interviewer all of our wonderful qualities that we will project on to the company we presently work for. So we will have a few questions. And we will look at the answers to each one of these questions individually. Well, everybody will ask you the same question. Why are you looking for a new job? So, why are you looking for a new job? In your answer, no matter what you do, 
no matter what you say. All the answers have to be structured in the same way. Noem, it doesn't matter what kind of question they ask you. Every single question needs to answer three things. It needs to talk about your stability, it needs to talk about your satisfaction, and it will need to talk about your future, that you will project from who you are to something they're asking. So they're going to ask you, what are you looking for in your job? Why are you doing this? Okay. So they want to go deep inside your motivation. Perfect. Let the projection shine. So you always want to try to think in terms of past, present, and future. Definitely. Everything you talk about about your company, you always have to think in three different ways. Well, one way you need to talk about your company. You can say that my company okay, had existed that much time. You can talk about how much time you have were employed in that company. You can talk about the number of completed assignments. You can talk about the money that you're making and how happy you are, but So what you're doing now, you're addressing, you're describing how stable the company is that you work for. You're talking about your stability in that company. You're talking about number of projects completed. That's your stability. One of the examples. And you're talking about the money which makes you stable and about how happy you are. But you can always say that you would like to earn more in order to improve your stability. You will talk about satisfaction. You need to talk about satisfaction. You need to tell them that yes, you are looking for a job, but you're happy with your job. Okay? You're looking, you want to continue to be happy you want to work with good people and you want a job that is interesting and challenging. Whatever you say in the, the second part, it has something to do with your satisfaction. Well, satisfaction has a lot to do with interpersonal relationship. It has a lot to do with individual interest and we all like a little challenge. So you always want to address your satisfaction side during the interview and always show it in a positive way. And the third thing is about the future. Definitely you need to talk about the future. So whatever the good, whatever the happiness, whatever the stability you have, you definitely want to have it better. You definitely want to make more money. You want to have more responsibility and you can be specific into what kind of responsibility. And you want to learn more things so that you can grow with the company. One way or the other, there's nothing that you can say negative during the interview. Everything you say, whether it has to do with the past or future, the secret is be positive and stick to the system. Well, let's look at the other question that you will most likely get on your job interview. So the next question, now you talked about the company you worked for, you told them why you're looking for a job, okay, whatever that reason is, that had to do with stability, had to do with satisfaction, and had to do with the future. And the next question will do, what are you looking for in your job? So there you go, there will be your expectations. So now is the time to ask a question. What do you need to think about when you are answering a question? What are you looking for? And if you said, Valeria, you're blocking this with your back, you're correct. Because that's exactly what you need to think about. So when you're talking about any question, any question at all, when you're talking about what are you looking for in a new job, Remember, you're looking for stability with examples. Remember, 
You're looking for satisfaction with examples. And remember, you're looking for something that will give you a good future, definitely with examples. So, what are you looking for? You're looking for a company with good track record. Well, track record, any company that has a good track record in whatever the field is, it tells you about their stability. What kind of stability? How do you know they have a good track record? Well, that means they are respected in the field. And that means they produce quality work, whatever that work is. So one way or the other, you're definitely looking for stability and you need to give examples. And these are very good examples, very straightforward, and everybody will understand. What are you talking about? You're talking about satisfaction. In order to satisfaction, how do you address satisfaction with your, what you're looking for? You want a company that cares about its employees. It cares about its employees. Why? Because satisfaction is very important to the company. That means that it cares about its employees today and it cares about employees tomorrow. So you are addressing a satisfaction part with examples. And what about the future? Well, anything you do has to be interesting. If you do the same thing all the time, it cannot be interesting and it cannot be challenging. So you're addressing the future. You're looking for something that will be interesting and challenging and you can give specific examples. Something that will give you pleasure working on it right now. And something that will help you to develop future skills. So that would be, again, a way to address this question using Valerio's structure of stability, satisfaction, and future. Let's look at, look at another example and see how you will get that one answered successfully. So let's take a look at the next question and see what else people will ask you during the interview. And be careful, this question goes directly to the idea of projection. Because when you see a question like this, everybody knows that what you say may or may not be true, but what you will be using, you'll be describing yourself no matter about whom you're talking about. How are the people in the company you work for? It doesn't matter if the people in your company that you think are not good, dishonest and everything else, there is no way that you can talk about that during your interview. Because everybody wants to hire people who have positive experiences. Nobody wants to have anyone who comes in with a thought and expectations that the next work they will have will have similar negative situations. So that is why it's very important to address this particular question that every interviewer has. And they will think, whatever you say, it doesn't matter if you're talking about the people in the company, they will automatically attribute these qualities to you. So always, what are you going to do? You will always talk about your qualities. And remember, during interview, you have only three qualities. And those qualities are, you are a stable person, you are a happy person, even if you're not, and you think about the future, even if you don't. Sometimes we need a job because we need to pay bills today. The bills that are past you, you cannot show that and you cannot say that. You must only be concerned about your future because the company is going to think that that's the kind of person they want. So what do you do? How do you do this? How do you address each part individually in a positive way? Well, first of all, you can say that the stability, remember stability, 
Generally, you have good people. Generally, you have good people. Nobody's perfect, but generally, good people. They want to hear that. The second thing you can say, well, most people, not everybody, but most people think about the company. And they put company first. And other people that you have in the company, they think more about themselves. So when you present in a positive way, people who think about the company, and in a negative way, people who are being selfish and who don't think about the company, everybody will understand that you value the first one. You don't have to say it, it will be clear. Number two, they also talk about satisfaction. How do you talk about satisfaction? Well, satisfaction has something to do with what? With your environment. If you are happy there, that means that your environment is a good environment. That means the environment is a positive environment. So give an example. How is the environment where you work is a positive environment. You can say, we give, they give you free coffee and you can drink all the coffee you want. Also, if you ever need uh, a way and a re go to the doctor, there is never a problem. They're very flexible. And anytime you need anything else, help, advice, they're always there to help you. So that is a really nice way to introduce and speak positively about the environment you work in. And remember, everybody wants to talk about the future. So, how are the people? Okay, you can say that people help each other develop in the future in the company. That the company develops employees and everybody more or less contributes to the development and that you are very happy and you think it is that way. If you believe it's not exactly that, then talk about that. That's not a problem. You can say about the positive aspects of development and how people help each other. Or you may say that people are a little bit more selfish, more interested, and you would love to work in an environment where everybody is trying to work with the same goal, thinking about the company. So these are a few questions that you will definitely face in the interview. Now, these are the questions that have to do with the company. You will definitely have questions about you. And we will have a next video when we will talk about how to handle questions about yourself. This way, no matter what and no matter who will be asking you questions, they will have at the end only one answer about you as a candidate. And that the answer will be yes. I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you in the next one. To be in my video and to have me make a video specially to answer your question, send me an email to EnglishClubUSA at Yahoo.com and you can visit my website at EnglishClubUSA.com for a free life membership. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.